Hey everybody, um, yesterday I put up a tutorial on how to use ES Explorer and install it on the Fire TV so you can install Kodi and update it kind of easier than what you know some of the earlier tutorials had you using a, a program called ADB Fire or even on the mobile app AGK Fire. So I'm just going to kind of follow up on that with this tutorial. It's a part two almost, but basically uh, we there's some add-ons out there that don't reside in you know fusion or some online repository uh, one of those add-ons for example might be sports devil if you're familiar with it so it requires you to kind of have to physically download the zip file and install it uh, the old-fashioned way is what I always say but um, the nice thing about ES file explorer is it it gives you access and it makes it a little bit easier to handle all this so I'm going to show you how to do it through Google Drive. Uh, you can use Dropbox, you can use Amazon S3, the process is pretty much the same. Um, you can also just share a folder on your local network if you're familiar with how to do that. It's pretty straightforward and I'll briefly touch on that when I get into ES Explorer on the Fire TV. First and foremost though, we need to have a Google account. Um, if you don't have one, just sign up for one or you can, like I say, you can use Dropbox. Uh, but I'm going to use Google Drive just because it's what I've been using. There's no personal preference. There's nothing really that makes it better than than draw, say Dropbox, for example. Um, but in my Drive account, I'm already in there. Basically, what I like to do is simply just kind of keep things organized. So I'm just going to create a create a folder and name it Plugins. And then inside Plugins, I've downloaded uh, downloaded the Hockey Streams plugin just because. Someone had asked me a question about it the other day, so I'm just going to use it as an example. So basically, you just copy it into your into your Drive account, which we now have, and that's basically all you have to do on the Google Drive end on your computer. Um, if you want to add more plugins, by all means, it's a great resource to kind of save all the stuff that you've downloaded if you've done that. Uh, next, I'm going to move on to the Fire TV. All right, I'm back, and I'm back with a terrible cell phone video, unfortunately. I can't find a way to get the Fire TV on my computer to make this a little bit cleaner, but uh, you should be able to follow this. It's pretty straightforward. I've put a written tutorial on my website as well. So first thing you want to do is open up ES Explorer after we've created our Drive account or Dropbox account for that matter, and we'll be greeted with this menu, of course, again. So this time we want to go down to Network, and we want to choose, uh, before I go through this, I guess I'll just show you. So if you have a home server and you know how to share folders and stuff like that, you can use LAN. Um, if you click that and scroll to the bottom here and hit new, you can enter in your server IP slash the folder you shared. And if you've set up password protection on there, you'd enter that in there. And, and then basically you should see the files. And, um, it's basically the same thing. You just have to have that information. So I'm going to use Google Drive, as I said. So instead of LAN, we'll go to Cloud. And we want to scroll to the bottom again. Click New. And as you'll see, there's a bunch of different options. You can use Dropbox, OneDrive, Amazon S3. Uh, I'm using Google Drive, so I'm going to click that. It's going to load the authentication. So the next thing I need to do is enter in my information which I'm just gonna pause and after it's done I'll show you okay now that I've entered in my information um, you'll be greeted with this page where it will give you say ES file explorer would like to basically just wants permissions to access ES explorer or Google needs that so at the very bottom here you can see the allow button um, you just want to highlight it click allow and then you should see your Drive account. So inside here, you've got, uh, you'll see your name right there. So inside here, you'll see the folder I created called plugins now. So we want to click in plugins. So, and there's the repository that I've added. And it's kind of a, like I mentioned in my last video, it's a little bit of a pain to navigate into this pane, but once you do, Basically, all you got to do, this is about as easy as it gets, you just want to highlight this until it's checked. And then you want to go down to the bottom and choose copy. And then basically all I do is I put it in my local 
I put it in my downloads folder, truthfully. And I hit paste. And now it's copied onto your Amazon Fire TV. So uh, once we've done that, really the only thing we need to do is open up Kodi. Which is right here. And we go to System, Settings, uh, Add-ons, and we want to install from zip file. So what I do is, because I've copied it to the download folder, we'll use external storage. And we just scroll down to download, and there's the repository that we've just copied. So click OK. And I obviously downloaded the wrong, I got an error message because I downloaded the wrong uh, zip file from the GitHub repository for hockey streams. But regardless, that's that's how you would do your, that's how you would copy your add-ons and stuff like that. Basically all you just do is install from zip, tile, zip file and in external storage. If you put it in the downloads folder, it's, it's just nice and clean, a nice way to organize it. And as I mentioned in my last video, then you can just go in and once you've installed it, delete everything. Um, and that's basically it. That's all you have to do to copy, copy add-ons to your Fire TV through ES Explorer. If you have any questions, drop them in the comments below.